In the distance, Pooh hides behind a tree. Isaac gives a respectable distance to the happy couple. And Jane and Jonas into each other's company. Howdy guys, this is Korakat13, that woman with the deep voice, and we are back with more Earthbound. Last time, we picked up the fifth melody in the fifth Your Sanctuary location. Thus, marking our path past the halfway mark. I don't know why that was so difficult to say. This episode, it's time to head out to Scaraba. However, in order to head out to Scaraba, we need to talk to a nice gentleman who has a boat. Because... Oh my god. Are we really starting with this asshole? Good lord, it's like I keep triggering this bastard to appear. Get out of here. Stop showing up. Fair at least you... Didn't stop us by a sewer. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> All that serious crap. This funny. Alright, let's head out. To Scaraba and beyond! That reminds me of the time I actually went on a boat. It was pretty, pretty neat. This is a pretty good theme, too. Pretty, pretty nice. Just nice to hear all this lovely music. There we go, passing by the islands of the Mediterranean before we head out to Africa. Wonder if there was any thought. I don't know. Well, it's not that unusual. He's not bald, he has hair. Hmm, that's actually a hint of things to come. Because believe it or not, what we're doing right now, we're actually technically not supposed to do. Because there actually is a bit of openness from here on out. In how you can actually do things. As we head out to Scaraba, the guy references the fact that there is another Your Sanctuary location in Delam. And then he feels better and we can continue on our merry way. But now we finally get to encounter the Kraken! Yeah, a little bit different than the standard portrayal of the Kraken, huh? Well, fret not. Because the Kraken really isn't all that bad, to be honest. Again, just kind of think like the Your Sanctuary bosses. Just go all out. Don't feel bad. And yes, he has power over lightning. It's, it's kind of annoying. Fortunately, Jane happens to still own the Franklin badge, which honestly I should have put on Bob, but whatever. Let's see here. Yeah, not really anything we can do with um, Isaac's turn, so anyway. Time to freeze, bitch! That's what you get for being on the water! On the waters! On the water! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. He just unloaded Flash. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Whoa! This not good. Ooh. Come on, come on. And Jonas passed out. Great. Well, we're dead. <laughs> It was a worthy shot, wouldn't you say? Mm -mm. Please tell me I still have all my... your sanctuary stuff. Oh, thank God. Good. I don't have to do that again. <laughs> okay, so, well, anyway. I wanted to show that you actually could do that as early as Magnet Hill. But technically what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to head to the sixth Your Sanctuary location, which is in Dalam. The guy actually mentioned that, so... We may actually just head out to Dalam and... Well, we're gonna level up like crazy, let me tell ya. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where the hospital is, because I could have swore there was one. Apparently it was a kitty in there. Not that it was Fluffy. Was it Fluffy? These are things I must know. I like kitty. Kitty is life. Well, I don't know whether or not there's a hospital nearby, so... What do you mean I don't have enough PP? Well, shit. I guess we gotta go and rest up at the fucking end before we can go off to Foreside. Oh my god. Dad, this is not a good time. I, I have to go and heal my party. Alright, well, I'm gonna go do that, and... Um, I will actually meet you in Dalam. See you then. Okay, I am back, and everybody is back up and running. Thank goodness. Also went ahead and grabbed $2,000 or so, so that I can go ahead and start buying some items. Which I believe is in this house. Whoa! There's a bottle of water inside! That's... good? Okay, you're not the shop. I thought you were the shop. I thought you were the guy! Is that a video game? Like, what, what is that a reference to? Yeah, forgive me for my ignorance, but good lord, I legit don't know. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so, um... Alright, rice gruel. Let's see here. Oh, a bottle of water, alright. They're not great, but at the very least, that will... Help us out. I didn't want to go back inside. We're good. Thank you. Get out of my way, lady. Thank you. Alrighty. Well, I think we are all situated. God, this music's good. Now let's go ahead and list Isaac's help and use the carrot key. Isaac used the carrot key. How strange. The rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. This is a very interesting dungeon theme, I must say. I really like it, though. For some reason, it just sounds good to me. Alright, and already we're getting introduced to some new enemies. That is Tengu. The only thing of note, before you enter this area, make sure you have the Franklin badge on you. 
because a lot of these enemies are capable of using electrical magic, so just keep that in mind. Alright, well, that battle was actually quite worthwhile, because Jane got quite a bit of a level up there. Now, I'm trying to remember which area had the Fobbies in it. Or Foppies? Whatever. Whatever. Okay, it's not this dungeon, it's Lumine Hall, this, so the Seventh Sanctuary is the next one. Conducting Menace. Yeah, this is what I mean by enemies having electrical powers. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, yay. Yeah, that's what I needed. Really? You couldn't have attacked freaking Jane? Jane's the one with the freaking... Oh, wow. Well, that was pretty good. Thank you very much. Alright, and Bob levels up. Big surprise there. Let's see here. Okay, good, 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 good. Jonas does not keep that strange status. I couldn't remember whether or not the strange status stayed or not. I don't create two of these bastards. But I wouldn't give for freaking, um, hero, uh, gamma, god. Well, obviously, we're not going to use freaking lightning on these things, because it probably would heal them. But I will use Breeze, because you are covered in electricity, and last I checked, ice is very conductive. Sayonara, bastards. Alright. Yeah, actually, the walkthrough on Starman.net actually did highly recommend that we do this. And actually, we just got one of um, Bob's only equipable items. And that is the Bracer of Kings. So thankfully, Bob just got some defense put on him. That's very good. I like the way they climb, it's just funny looking. <laughs> well, that was pointless. Well, I guess it wasn't pointless because, I mean, it did get us one of Pooh's items. Yeah, it's just Tengu. Not much to say about that fight, just another Tengu. Thought he was all big and bad. I'm pretty sure that was another Tengu right there. We just destroyed him. All right! Bob just got freaking Freeze Gamma. Ah, we got us another new enemy! The Thundermite. The, the, the Thundermite. Thundermite do what? God, that's annoying. I even forget how dangerous Thunder actually is, because you stop to think about it. Oh, God. Oh, thank you! About time one of them actually reflected it off of the person that has the Franklin badge. All right, let's go ahead and kill Isaac, because apparently he's the new bitch. And we desperately need to heal. So let's go ahead and heal Jonas, and, and, very important, we heal Isaac. Oh yeah, I forgot that brain food lunches actually heal magic as well. Wish I knew that before I used it. Okay, not a fan of the fact that that Tengu just freaking smash attacked Jonas. That was annoying. Alright, at least that battle wasn't for nothing. I think Bob gained another level, so... Always a good thing. Sudden Guts Pill! That, my friends, is awesome. Ooh, 
Jonas is closing in on level 50. I am quite happy about that. Although, I'd be even happier if Isaac would stop getting poisoned. I don't even know why these guys have it out for Isaac all of a sudden. Oh, rock candy, baby. Yes. Rock candies are freaking awesome, man. In fact, I will demonstrate what they do. Oopsie daisy, that's not what I wanted to do. Now let's go ahead and use the rock candy on Bob. Because he is the party member with the lowest stats. Bob, my friend, you can use ice on that bastard. Hmm, does actually some pretty considerable damage on that guy. Alright, so what the rock candy does is it will randomly increase one of your stats. So, yeah, very good thing. Very, very good thing. Oh, great. God, I hate the fact that he's able to use thunder. That is so annoying. Alrighty. Yeah, not much to say about that. Just another battle. But I wanted to demonstrate that, um... That rock handy, which apparently is... Um, the subject of a major glitch. I forget exactly what it is, but apparently if you have certain condiments and you cycle through in a certain way, you can infinitely use that rock candy to continuously get new uh, improvements in your stats, which is really nice. Anyway, there's our six bitch right there. Well, six and six and a half, because technically we're about to fight two opponents. Thunder and Storm. Let's go ahead and kick this par this poor son of a bitch's ass. Oh I dare. And as you can tell, they actually use the theme of the Kraken. Which honestly I think is a bit more appropriate for an electrical enemy. Alright, once again, let's go all out. Since this guy is an electrical enemy, Ice is going to be your best friend. Stop and freeze! Ooh, ooh, oh yeah, oh yeah, feel the pain. By the way, those things that they actually have in their hand, actually do have some significance in Japanese mythology. Apparently the palm tree is a reference to an oncoming storm. Very interesting. Very interesting little bit of history. Let's see here. Yeah, just enough for a freeze alpha. How about that? Oh, 420 damage. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to be using your stupid attacks, sir. And other sir. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and use Sun Guts Pill on Bob. Unleash another round of Freeze Gamma. Another round of that. And Bob, my friend, let's go ahead and use a bottle of water on you. Stop and freeze! <laughs> okay, sure. Ah, oh, finally! Hero Gamma, baby! Alright, took long enough. Woo! Oh man, Bob's just gonna keep skyrocketing. He's gonna hit level 40 here shortly. Alright, he just got something. What was it that Bob got? Oh, he just got Healing Gamma! Holy shit, that's amazing! Healing Gamma is freaking awesome, because it actually has a high chance of bringing you back with most of your HP, so... Yeah, it's a Revival spell. Very nice. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Just completed the cloud. 
He once had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Kind of random. Alrighty. Well, that's sanctuary number six. That still kind of... Yeah, that amazes me. That would have been funny if we just one shot at those assholes. <laughs> Which actually, it is possible to do. It's just really difficult to do it, so anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this battle. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna cut out this battle. Why, why would I do that? Because we're about to see what Hero Gamma looks like. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now I can cut this out. Alrighty, Daddy. Well, that was a good demonstration of Healing Gamma's power. Or not Healing Gamma. Uh, Hero Gamma's power. Because as you, you saw there, that was a fuck ton of damage. It is going to be quite useful against our next opponent. Which is going to be the Electric Spectre. If memory serves correct, I think it's the Electric Spectre. And Big Shock, he's another one that uses electricity. So, once again, don't get rid of the Franklin Badge. I don't think you should ever get rid of the Franklin Badge, because the Franklin Badge is always useful. Here we go again. Get it over with already. I just want to go and heal. You know, Pooh, you could just arrest that guy. I guess not. Now, this castle here actually reminds me of Queen Mary's castle from Earthbound Beginnings. Again? Holy crap, man! You just took my picture! Is it really that worthwhile? How do you keep showing up? Ugh. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, just kind of the shape of this castle kind of reminds me of Queen Mary's castle. Along with, like, the corridors and stuff. It's not quite as big as Queen Mary's castle, but it's pretty big. He's big. Alrighty, well, that takes care of our business here in uh, Dalam. We actually have no reason to come back to this location. With one exception, which I'm going to show you right quick before we close off the video. Some of the best items in the game actually are in Dalam. And I'm just making sure I have some inventory space. I don't know why I have that snake there. Go ahead and talk to this guy. Brain food lunches. Ignore the awkward spacing. Brain food lunches are among the best healing items in the game. You want as many of these damn things in your inventory as possible. So, yeah. Very, very good that we happen to have gotten that. So now, I can officially end up the video. Thank you guys for watching, and next time we meet, we're going to try attempting to fight that stupid snake again. Or it's an eel, I, I don't know. See you guys then. Bye.